Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, our emptiness journey. I am Mildred and Louis is around somewhere. Just wanted to give you a review of the Quail Run RV Resort that we stayed um, for about a week. We just needed to get away. It was close to home, but I am so glad we found this place. We stayed in a premium lot, uh, which is the cement pad. And what I love is that you can also park your tow vehicle and there is enough space for the RV as well. There's my family and it has a bench, um, which is pretty nice. I just placed um, our mat and um, had the bench there to sit and grill and do different things so that was really nice um, as you can see behind me um, the streets are a good size for all the types of rigs that come by um, it is extremely clean here which I really really always appreciate um, let's see what else um, luckily for us uh, we stayed in site 164 and we haven't had any neighbors all the snowbirds are starting to come down and um, so we've been seeing a lot of activity so far um, on the weekend, but we didn't have a neighbor on this side. We didn't, didn't have a neighbor on this side either. And um, it kind of gives you a little more space. Um, it is pretty crowded here. I have noticed there are some permanent residents. There are some snowbirds that are coming down as well. So this will be packed um, from now to probably April. Um, so we were actually pretty lucky to be able to stay here for a week. Initially, we had it for uh, Monday through Thursday, and then we extended our stay for two more days. Um, so I was, I believe we were extremely lucky um, to do that. So I am going to take you around um, the resort just so that you can see and get a better feel for it. Um, the, we do have full hookup. There is full hookup. Um, it goes up to 50 amp um, water supply and then the sewage as well. Um, the water pressure was pretty good. No complaints there. And the customer service, outstanding. So let's take you now for a tour around the different amenities of the RV resort. building you have two pool tables on the second floor and an air hockey table come on let me show you
that was a quick tour around um, the Quail Run RV Resort. Uh, you have your paved pads and you also have the gravel. Um, so you can, you know, make a choice on which one you prefer. I really enjoyed staying on the premium lots. It is still reasonable. It is still um, about $80 or so a night. It depends on when you come. But also you want to get your Good Sam um, discount because it is so worth it. You get a 10% discount. And the membership that I currently have is the one that's $29 for the entire year. And we saved more than that already in just this visit. Now, one of the other things I did want to mention about um, being here at site 164 is that this is the main road. Um, the entrance is around here. So there's a lot of cars that pass by here. Quiet time starts at 10 p.m. until 7.30 a.m. What we did notice was during the week, um, there was maintenance going around, you know, cutting of the lawn and trimming and the blower. Um, so they're up before nine o'clock in the morning and we were on vacation. So having some of that noise was a little annoying, but honestly, it wasn't horrible, but I could have done without it. Um, it's not necessarily a big complaint, but just thought I'd let you know, if you don't want any type of noise, maybe you would want to request to stay in the inner part of the park. Um, I liked this part because I just felt like we still had some space and we're not we weren't in between sites so I definitely enjoyed that better there is Wi-Fi we never use the Wi-Fi because we have our own and a few places to visit um, make sure you visit uh, I think it's called the crates at the Grove um, there are a bunch of like decorated crates, um, their restaurants and different places um, to visit is really cool. Love the vibe. They do have like weekend events. Um, so check that out. We went to the lagoon, Wesley Chapel Lagoon. I think it's Epperson um, Lagoon. We uh, were there for the day and it's like $25 per person to get in and um, they have different water activities and things like that. Um, it was beautiful. There was barely anyone there. Um, so I really enjoyed that. That was like a quiet, relaxing day, especially for me. Um, there's an outlet um, down on Wesley Chapel. So check those out as well. There are tons of stores. There's tons of restaurants. Um, so you really can decide whether you just want to go out shopping, you just want to go out to eat, you just want to go out and enjoy um, your time out here. I just feel like there's enough to do here um, or just kind of stay in the resort and relax. I mean, there's a few things here to do. You could just hang out in the pool, just hang out by your rig. I'm sitting here right now and just hanging out, um, getting some me time and, you know, editing this video. So. You know, um, I just think it's a, I give this one a thumbs up. Um, I would rate this a four star. Uh, five star for me is like, I love everything about it. And although I like a lot, um, I will still not give it a five. Um, but this will be a place that we would probably come back to just whenever we need to just step away and take a break. So if you haven't done so yet, I would appreciate it if you like this video, if you subscribe to our channel, we are going to be traveling a lot more towards the end of the year. Um, so you will be seeing a little more of our adventure out there. So please subscribe so that you won't miss a video. So thank you and have a blessed day.